Is Pak Wang bitter about what befell her six-year relationship with Lee O'Brien, father of her beautiful daughter Malia? It's been a year and a half since Pak Wang and Lee broke up. Their falling out was kept hush-hush from the public. The only telling sign that they got separated was when the comedian renamed her bottled food business, dropping Lee's name. Despite cajoling that she stepped forward to clarify the issue, Pak Wang wouldn't spill the beans. All she shared with the public was that she had to put an end to their relationship. Pak Wang even brushed aside speculations that Lee was the parasite type of a partner who largely depended on her. On the contrary, Pak Wang stressed, Lee was a responsible partner even describing him as a Nepakabe. The public took her word for it, not knowing that Pak Wang was actually lying through her teeth. It took a social media post by Pak Wang to finally give the public a hint about the kind of partner Lee was. Pak Wang welcomed the start of 2023 by announcing she was back to being single and was ready to get into another relationship. The operative line in her post carried an important non-negotiable football on manga. In short, her come and get me invitation was off limits to manga gamete or users, apparently. Pak Wang had no one else in mind but Lee who fits the mold to AT. It was from there where Pak Wang had begun to open a can of worms, particularly about the kind of lover that Lee was. She disclosed that Lee had actually never wanted her to get pregnant. But Pak Wang proceeded with her pregnancy, Malia was born. It may be said that Pak Wang was not smart enough to discern that raising a child by Lee would result in problems bigger than she could ever imagine. True enough. Pak Wang was the one who spent on her prenatal consultations and provided for Malia's needs when born. Pak Wang then accused Lee of shirking on his paternal duties. While Lee could be faulted for his lack of responsibility, Pak Wang could not discount the fact that she had seen all this coming. If so, why did she still choose to live with Lee? Didn't all her attempts to even seek a dialogue with Lee prove futile? Was it not enough reason to decide on a separation at an earlier time? As far as Pak Wang was concerned, she was hoping Lee would change. Too bad, it never came. Bullying. More determined to get even, Pak Wang has been using the social media as her sounding board. She's earnestly making an appeal to employers out there, specifically TV and film producers, never to engage the acting services of Lee. Pak Wang reasons out. Kagastasin Lang Naya, Young Kinikita Naya S. A. Bobby Naya, he will just spend his earnings on his girlfriend. By the way, Lee's having a newfound love makes Pak Wang see red even more. Add to the fact that Pak Wang found out that Lee was telling his girlfriend how bad the comedian is, in retaliation, Pak Wang called them idiots. The latest angle to this Pak Wang's never-ending anti-Lee stance is that she would only be able to achieve peace of mind if Lee left and returned to the States. At the same time, Pak Wang is pulling off a move to change Malia's name to Sub Ong, hence her recent meet-up with a public interest lawyer. Little is known about Lee's status of stay in the country. But if has been on Philippine soil since Malia was born four years ago, I would surmise that his stay is without any legal impediment. And barring all legal hitches, then Lee can work here. Or be an actor here except that his lingual handicap might work to his disadvantage. The least that Pak Wang can make happen, using all her might, is to address her appeal to her home network. For sure, GMA would budge out of its loyalty to her. But would other TV stations do the same?